As a PC gamer, your mouse is always in hand, and it's the most important weapon in your arsenal. But as life dictates, the better the weapon, the more money you'll have to spend. Well today I'm going to share with you my picks for best budget gaming mice so that you can break some heads instead of breaking your bank account. All items in this video are my own personal choices and are listed in no particular order as these kind of items are of a personal preference. But with that said, these are the items that I feel stand out as the best. Prices have not been included in this video as the prices for these items are changing all the time, especially during holiday sale events. I have however included links to the current best prices for each of these items in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's get started. The Cooler Master MM720 is an outstanding ultralight gaming mouse that glides around smoothly at only 49 grams. It feels fairly well built with its honeycomb design and it's extremely light. The right-handed design is very comfortable and works best for those using a claw grip except for those with extra large hands. The Teflon feet and the braided cord help provide a smooth gliding experience on mouse pads or desks. It has an extremely low click latency, 16,000 DPI polling rate, optical switches, and you can program most of its buttons. It also has a very wide sensitivity range that you can adjust in steps of 100. Because of its lightweight and quick movement speed, this is a great mouse for those who play a lot of first-person shooters. This is my pick for best lightweight budget gaming mouse. The Rocket Burst Pro feels quite comfortable even without having side grips or a finger rest. It has an ambidextrous design though the side buttons are only on the left side, making this a right-handed mouse. It can be used with any grip style for most hand sizes but smaller hands may have a harder time with a fingertip or a claw grip. The Rocket Burst Pro has an excellent braided cable that's lightweight and flexible, and outstanding feet that glide well. It also sports some minimal RGB that is in no way overbearing. The Rocket Burst Pro is an excellent first-person shooter gaming mouse. It's extremely lightweight, but still feels very well built. It has a wide sensitivity range and a high maximum polling rate, and its click latency is amazing. So, even more competitive gamers shouldn't notice any delay. What the Logitech G203 lacks in extra features, it makes up with an intuitive design and solid Logitech G-Hub software. It's a great wired gaming mouse that comes in a mix of colors, black, white, blue, and pink. It feels very well built and has an extremely low click latency. It also has a wide sensitivity range and you can adjust the set sensitivity in increments of 50. It is an idea, however, for larger hands, but if you got smaller medium hands, this should be just fine. There's an RGB lighting zone for the logo and three independent zones in the van that runs around the back. The companion software offers plenty of customization options and it's compatible with Windows and Mac. This is definitely a gaming mouse well worth your consideration. If one word was to describe the HyperX Pulsefire Core RGB gaming mouse, it would be simple. The mouse comes with a braided cable. It looks good, but is a little on the stiff side. It has seven buttons, all of which can be customized with your choice of commands and macros using the HyperX Ingenuity software. These buttons feature high quality switches that give crisp tactical feedback and are rated for up to 20 million clicks. The clicks on this mouse feel semi-premium. Not horrible, but not overly great. The RGB on this mouse is also controlled by the HyperX Ingenuity software and consists of only one zone, which is the HyperX logo. So it's pretty simple. Customize your color or colors and you're done. The mouse is a hard plastic with an indented thumb rest area. Nothing special here. It's a simple design. The mouse, however, should fit comfortable enough in most people's hands unless your hands are ginormous. The underside of the mouse has two sliding pads, and these are chonky pads. They take up almost half of the underside, which was very nice to see. Overall, it's a simple budget gaming mouse that does its job while remaining at a low price point. The Logitech G502 Hero came out back in 2018 with an $80 price tag and was marked as the next best thing in premium gaming mice. Years later, and with many awards won, this mouse has come down in price allowing it to be placed in the budget category of gaming mice. But don't be fooled, with its outstanding build quality and excellent features, this mouse has remained one of Logitech's best sellers. 
Ergo Focus Angular Design, perfect for either palm or claw grip playstyles. 11 programmable buttons, a braided USB cable, a scroll wheel that can operate in a normal stepping mode, or at the click of a button, a freestyle mode are just a few of its features. Oh, and underneath the mouse is a detachable cover where you can place five 3.6 gram weights to make the mouse heavier or lighter based on your personal preference. It's a great mouse that is hyper accurate and has good matured G-Hub software and is well worth its new lower cost as well as its original $80 price tag. Check it out. It's refreshing when a mouse like the Corsair M55 RGB Pro comes along and offers a little something for everyone. This ambidextrous gaming mouse is perfectly symmetrical, offering excellent performance for righties and lefties alike. This mouse works well with any game genre and feels very comfortable to hold no matter your hand size. The shape is nicely rounded with no sharp angles to be found and there are matching buttons on both sides of the mouse. A nicely braided USB cable adds to the classiness. RGB is controlled by Corsair's IQ software which is what you will also use to reprogram the buttons or to change the mouse speed settings. Rarely do we see a company remembering that there are left-handed gamers out there, so it's nice to see that Corsair not only remembered, but addressed the problem with a decent offering. This is my pick for best ambidextrous budget gaming mouse. The Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless is a great mouse for any gamer with small to medium hand sizes. At 99 grams, this mouse is quite light for a wireless mouse, and yes, you can also use the mouse while the USB charging cable is attached if you prefer. This mouse sports Corsair's 1 millisecond slipstream technology, which will give you hyper-fast gameplay response. The battery life on this mouse is rated for 60 hours, which is pretty dang good. RGB is very minimal and is limited to the Corsair logo at the rear of the mouse, whose color and display animation can be adjusted in the Corsair IQ software. The left and right mouse buttons use ultra durable Omron switches, which are rated for more than 50 million clicks and the mouse has a 10,000 DPI optical sensor for high accuracy tracking of even the slightest of movements. There are six fully programmable buttons that you can use for any command or macro that your heart desires. It's a full featured mouse, good for any type of game or gaming style, but it is slightly smaller than some mice. This should not be a problem for most gamers, but if your hands are huge, then I would suggest avoiding this mouse. The Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless is my pick for best wireless budget gaming mouse. At 61 grams, the Razer Viper Mini is one of the lightest gaming mice available although not quite as light as the before-mentioned Cooler Master MM720 that weighed in only at 49 grams, but it is definitely the smallest and lightest gaming mouse in the Razer Viper lineup. Where the rest of the Razer Viper mice have rubberized textured sides, this feature is non-existent on this version of the Viper. Instead, you get the entire mouse in a durable hard plastic. USB cable is soft, flexible, and braided, and the feet are large 100% PTFE, giving this mouse a very nice and smooth glide, and a 8500 DPI optical sensor giving you great accuracy. RGB is minimal, consisting of a tasteful underglow at the rear of the mouse and the Razer logo, also located at the rear of the mouse. This mouse performs well for just about any game genre, and while it's not the absolute cheapest gaming mouse you can get, it is well worth it if you like the design and have very small hands. For this reason, this is my pick for best budget gaming mouse for small hands. The Razer Basculus version 3 is a lightweight mouse that reigns supreme in first-person shooter games. Its lightweight combined with four PTFE glide pads on its underside allow this mouse to glide across your mouse pad with ease, speed, and accuracy. Its build quality feels good and solid despite it being only 101 grams, which makes it lighter than the Logitech G502 Hero. It's a larger mouse, but should work fine for anyone who doesn't have very tiny hands. The scroll wheel can be tactical or freewheel and feels good. This mouse also features a sniper paddle, which when pressed, allows you to perform your sniper duties a lot easier by slowing down the DPI and causing your sniper rifle to have less sway and more accuracy. The USB cable is a Razer Speedflex braided cable that follows your movements very well. Lightweight, great ease of slide, Speed flex cable and a sniper paddle makes this mouse my choice for best first person shooter budget gaming mouse. The SteelSeries Sensei 10 is a great wired gaming mouse. 
It has excellent performance and a very wide customizable sensitivity range. It has buttons on both the left and right sides and has a symmetrical shape making it ambidextrous. Each of the 10 buttons are fully programmable with the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. Any hand size should be able to easily reach all the buttons when using claw grip, while only small and medium hands will have a difficult time with fingertip grip. The SteelSeries Sensei 10 is a great mouse for first-person shooter video games. This mouse is quite lightweight and all of its buttons can be programmed including the up-down scroll wheel. The sensor performance is excellent and because it's wired, the click latency is also really good. This mouse has been a personal favorite for eSport gamers since 2009, winning multiple game championships and this fourth iteration of the mouse has already become again a personal favorite in eSport competitions. It took the name Sensei 10 to honor its 10 year legacy in eSports. This is my choice for best budget gaming mouse. Catch you guys next time.